Hey guys, uh, I can't remember if I showed this computer off. It's been in the background of a couple of videos, if I haven't, probably. But uh, this is a Shuttle X PC, I think that's what it's called. And it kind of looks like a toaster, if I, especially if I put the lid on it, but I don't want to right now. So I found this for, at most, $5. I can't remember the price, because it's been a little while. At uh, the thrift store that I volunteer at, or at least I used to volunteer at it, I haven't for a while, because I've been having a weird condition. I don't really know what it is. So it's called a Bare Bones PC, and uh, the reason why it's called that it's because, well, it was bare bones when you bought it. It only came with a CPU, motherboard, uh, cables, and, like, that's it, really. It, ha it has inbuilt sound, but it doesn't have inbuilt video, or at least the model I have. If you're curious, the model is this. Uh, it has this little ding here, but it actually shows that it's aluminum, or something, some, some metal. These aren't the right black, and that kind of bothers me. Maybe I could spray paint or something, I don't know. By the way, this does not work. I don't have the cables for it. It's just kind of here for, for show. I also have a floppy drive, and I don't have the cables for that either. This is still very much a work in progress. It will work. It has Windows 7 on it. It originally came with XP, I think. So I'm pushing it a little bit. Currently only has 1 gigabyte of RAM. It can be upgraded to the high amount of 2 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> It is DDR1, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I believe this computer is from 2005 or so, somewhere around there. I can't remember. So I'll show you the inside. This is a ATI something. It might be that there, I don't know. It's got like composite out and in. It's very strange. It's got S-Video and VGA. You know like the little screws that screw in? It broke off. It broke at some point before I owned this. Kind of fits? Not really. It fits enough to work function. For I have to mention, this thing is tiny as hell. CD drive. It's a Philips something. This one is from, it looks like 2007. So it's old as me. <laughs> I don't really want to take it apart right now, so I'm not going to. But maybe I will later in the video if I need to. Or if I'm just feeling extra wacky. But you should be able to see there's a hard drive in there. It's a Max Tor something something. They're both IDE. This has sat on it, but uh, I couldn't get it to work because I'm an idiot. But luckily I had one IDE hard drive and it works, so that's good. The hard drive is, I think, 160 gigabytes. Oh my lord, sorry, I just realized how old this graphics card is. 2000, that would explain why it sucks. There's the two 512 mega, mega sticks. What the hell is a mega stick? Ram sticks. It is a Geel, something fell. 512 DDR1 stick. Uh, it, if I had the RAM to upgrade it, I would. The lowest one I have is 2 gigabytes, and it's like DDR2 or 3 or something, so that wouldn't work. I forgot to mention that, like, almost half of this, probably, I got from the same place I got this. Like, the, the graphics card and the CD drive, and... Oh, I got the floppy drive there, too, but it's not in there right now. And that might actually be it. Well, it sounded like a lot, but... <laughs> I got the RAM and the CMOS battery from Surplus Gizmos, they're a very cool uh, electronic parts store. Uh, and it was like $6 for the RAM and the CMOS. I forgot to mention what a CMOS battery is. It like keeps the time when the computer is off or unplugged. Uh, that's, that's all it does. And I think that's all the stuff on it that I know of at least. I have a sound card right here. It is a Sound Blaster Live that I also got from a thrift store. That's the model number there. These two might have been from the same computer, I don't remember. Siri, I didn't ask for you. Really quickly, I want to show you how finicky this is to get on here. Did I just get like first try? No way. I'm mad. Got it. Okay, well I got first try. Here's what it looks like. It looks like a toaster a little bit. It's living. Every time I press the record button, my Siri goes off. It's got to be like the same frequency or something? I don't know. Alright, turning it on. There's a computer area somewhere. Why is the monitor not turning on? Doesn't that work anymore? Please, I beg. Oh, there's a, there's a switch on the back. Why? Why? Using a Samsung SyncMaster 192N, if you're curious. Okay, I'm aware this looks god awful, but <laughs> that's all I can do right now. Starting window. Oh, right, I don't have any sound with this setup because I'm an idiot and I don't, I don't. I forgot to grab a speaker. Do I have any speakers? Yeah, I do. I'll be back. I don't know where the speaker went. It's so nice to be able to see like all of the screen. This was the edge of the screen to me on the projector. Is it a little cropped? Is it like, this is really in like the true like 2006 experience. Pretend that Windows 7 was released in 2006, thank you. Oh wait, I forgot Steam won't work because I don't have internet, I'm an idiot. Like none of these will work if I don't have internet. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. The reason why I don't have internet, uh, ethernet won't reach to here. This doesn't have a Wi-Fi card, even though the website said it has Wi-Fi. 
built in, so they just lied. I really hope Legacy Update will work without internet. I'm sure it won't, but we'll see. Wait, guys, it's like Solitaire. <laughs> Steve, you that 100%. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, like I said, there's a really powerful machine. Wink, wink. Wait, what? Why is it acting like it has internet? <laughs> it's so slow. Alright, I should probably find a different browser, because this is Chrome-based. I'm pretty sure Chrome is, like, the worst thing ever. I don't know why I picked this one. I just kind of... It was on a Reddit post. <laughs> it's honestly, like, the best game I have on here, because I accidentally... I forgot to mention, I accidentally installed Professional, so I don't have any of the games. <laughs> Alright, well, too laggy. I will fix that later. Fix what? I don't know. <laughs> Connect to projector. Okay, I already did that. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna draw or something. Next video, or maybe even this video, probably not this video. I will try to get online with this. It's more of just a background to the computer. In the next video, I'll actually like, try to do stuff. I'm gonna go on uh, Facebook. <laughs> I need inspiration. Alright, I found this. I'm gonna draw that. It's gonna be perfect one to one recreation. Yep. Arm roughly starts. About here to here. So I just realized I don't think I'm recording at like the highest quality this can do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can also do widescreen, so whatever. Alright, there's one eye. It looks vaguely like him so far. But it's coming together. Look at that. The perspective's gonna be completely wonk. It already is. It's more about the message than how good the art is, you know? I hope you know, because I sure don't. I use that joke too many times, I feel like. My bad. Yeah, I used to be pretty good at art back in my youth, you know? Like fourth grade, I, I kind of I was pretty good. Not as good as like I don't know, Mozart. <laughs> I'm actually so stupid. He's not a painter. He's a composer. You idiot. In my defense, it was like four in the morning. <laughs> Where who drew this? I think uh, Steven Spielberg drew this. Not Steven Spielberg. Whoever made SpongeBob, do you think he drew this? Do you think Tom Kenny drew this? I just realized this is way lower than it should be. I should, like, kind of just, like, do this. Perfect. That worked almost okay. It looks vaguely of Squidward. It may not be proportionally accurate, but whatever. In fact, the original isn't very proportionally accurate, so... Or the, the, in fact, the drawing is even. In fact, when I'm cop and whatever. That's his ear that he famously has. That head shape and the forehead line that makes it just look like Squidward. That is Squidward. All right, so I'm gonna do like the rest of his shirt. It's gonna be like probably the hardest part, honestly. Like I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, I'm done. That's not bad. That's unironically not that bad. Although I'm gonna do this to the original compared to the original. That that looks better. Yeah, that's because it looked kind of weird without it. There you go. What kind of color is he? Look at that, and I remember him like, human word, wow. That's honestly about as good as I'm going to get, but actually I lied. I'm going to add a little shading and then I'll be done, I think. Oh, that looked like a pit stain or that a shadow? That looks like a pit stain. Alright, well... Here's like a little 
tech tip for you or art tip. It's his his nose is a spherical spherical object, so it should have a little bit of curvature to it. That looks weird. Um. All right, I think my my art is done. Do I add a background? I will add, I'll just do like the flat colors. Some of the most effort I've ever put into an MS Paint drawing. Uh, I'd say that's pretty good. He looks more mad than the original because of his mouth is kind of different, but it's good enough really. I don't want to put any more into, into that. I'll name it Squid. How long did that take me? Whoa, that's a lot. 40 something minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna customize this at all because I like the Windows XP aesthetic or Vista or 7. Got it there in the end. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. 51. Look at that. I'm doing this and it goes up to 51%. That's how bad this computer is. I'm getting one megabyte a second somehow, even though I'm not on a, even though not, even though I'm not on a network. That makes sense. I think I'll call it here. This video is probably gonna take forever to come out. Uh, here's the date if you're curious. And yes, it is 5:18 a.m. Don't question me. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. This was gonna be a little bit different. I had actually recorded me installing Windows 7 onto it. It was over an hour of footage. I recorded it with OBS and I hooked up my iPhone as a webcam, so it was, it was actually better quality by quite a lot than the camera that I was using for this. But it uh, turns out I had my mic muted the whole time on OBS, so. Yeah, it's, it was a little bit different, unfortunately. But uh, here's it booting up for the first time in my live reaction without a mic. By the way, my friends are playing Terraria in the background, and you hear uh, some of Hudson's insight at the end. This shit pisses me off so bad.